The other area of your email that you need to set up is your outbound settings. What is most confusing to people is that you only need to have one outbound email setting. Even if you have multiple inboxes, multiple email addresses, in order to send mail out you only have to get a valid connection to any one of those servers. This is similar to taking a, a physical letter, putting a stamp on it, and you can mail that at any post office in the United States. So you only need one post office. The same thing here. So you just have to choose one of your outbound email settings and set that up for your account. As long as you're authorized to use the server, they'll send out mail for you. So this is called SMTP, Simple Mail Transport Protocol Server. In my server is smtp.gmail.com. Now, of course, I have to log into that server. I have to identify who I am so that the server knows I'm allowed to send mail through it. So I use my Gmail account, my password. I also know that this requires port 465 and secure socket slayer. In order to send email out, that's the only thing I have to set. The rest of this is optional, although I do recommend you set this. Your email from address and reply to address are just what they are. If you look at your current email client, you'll see one of the columns is from. It shows you who the email is from. Well, this is what's going to show up in the from column of all the people you send email to. This email address and this display name. This reply to address is what's going to show up in the new email when someone clicks reply to your email. Generally these are going to both be the same. But if you would like someone to reply to a different email address, you could put a different email address in here. The signature blocks, we have two different signatures. We have a text signature, and the text signature is what you see is what you get. So type in this box what you want to be on the bottom of each text email you send out. It's going to show up exactly the way you type it. And then we have HTML. Now most of the emails we send out are HTML emails. Basically they're mini web pages. And HTML is the language behind a web page. Now if you don't know HTML, this can look a little bit daunting. We do have a wizard you can use to choose a layout and then change the content. So the layout is in top then you go and change the content for that layout below. So you can choose a specific layout, change the content the way you want. Once you click update, it's going to copy the HTML into this box. So you don't have to know how to write HTML to create a signature. Now if you want something then different than the standard layouts that we provide, you'll have to have somebody write that HTML for you or write it yourself. This box below it says show personal page link and email signature simply includes the link to your personal plan plus page with every email signature that goes out. So whenever you apply an email signature to the bottom of an email, this link is included. And then you can request a receipt for your emails. Once you've set all of this up, you test your settings. What it will do is send a test email through your account to make sure it can send an email.